Hello and welcome. In this tutorial today we're going to remove a solid background from a picture using the magic eraser tool. We'll start off by opening the folder, file, open and we'll pick the picture we want to remove the background from, image 5 will do us. Click on image 5 and left click open here it is on the stage. The first step is to go over and unlock the background. Here we are here on the right hand side. I'll double left, left click. Uh, we needn't bother giving it a, a new name, the layer. We'll just OK it and the little padlock's gone. So we can now work on the, uh, the picture here and remove the background. Right, I'm just going to go over to the zoom control ho over here on the right hand side. Just increase the size of the, the uh, picture so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. Just bring it up to 182. That'll do us. Go over to the left hand toolbar now and we'll look for the eraser tool here. I'll right click that. You see the little square black boxes on eraser. We don't want that one. We want the magic eraser tool. So we highlight that with the uh, pointer and left click it. As you can see where the tolerance is here on the top left hand corner, it's set at 30 it goes from 0 to 250. Uh, I have done a tutorial on how the settings uh, work on the tolerance and the continuous and that's on another tutorial so I won't go into it in depth here. Uh, we'll have it set at 30 to start with. I'll bring down the eraser and I'll left click it anywhere on the blue and you see that the background has been removed all except for the darker uh, shade of uh, blue down between his feet here which represents a shadow from his body. Uh, there are two ways of removing that. We can either remove that with an eraser or we can just go back up to the tolerance setting and alter that to uh, a higher number. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to restore the background and then I will use a higher uh, number in the tolerance box and you'll see that uh, all the blue will then disappear. Right, so I'm going to go up here now and alter, left click in there, the little flashing cursor and now I'm going to put in 80. Bring down the uh, tool here and left click. Now you can see down here between his feet the darker shade of blue has also now been removed. It's a matter of uh, trial and error on what settings you use. I would recommend starting off at 30 and then working up um, you know, 30, 50, 70, 80 until you get the desired effect. If you go too high you'll start to lose some of the actual um, figure that we're trying to keep. If we just look down on his foot down here, you can see a little bit of uh, black just just poking out. I'm just going to increase the zoom size, going back over here and just bringing the zoom size up a touch. I mean, we are nitpicking a little bit, little bit there. So what we can do is go back over to the eraser, right click, and we're just going to go on to the eraser tool now. So I'm left clicking the eraser tool, and now you've got a little square, as you can probably see there. I'm going to bring it just down to the bottom and just just bring it there and I've just nipped that off just like cutting a toenail off off of your foot right go back over here to the right reduce the, the zoom zoom size bring it back down to about there and all we have to do now is to go up to the file save as and this is very important now you save it as a PSD so you left click on here and make sure it's saved as a PSD not a JPEG, a PSD. If you save it as a JPEG, the background will still remain when you uh, go to import it um, into another image. So it's save as PSD and then click save. And that's it for this uh, simple one. Thanks for watching.